I really pray that this is the first of many, many such celebrations to come, that Africa Science Week will outlive all of us involved at this uh, inception in Ghana and see and go beyond generations into generations to come to ensure that the discussion on science, technology, engineering, and mathematics really truly comes to life and comes an integral part of our development, our psyche, and our national conversation. We, in the German government, we decided not long ago to strengthen our cooperation um, in science and education, especially also in the field of university cooperation and supporting um, STEM activities. That's why um, we are supporting not only AIMS, but also the next uh, Einstein Forum and Initiative. Um, this support is channeled through our Federal Ministry for Education and Research, and it's also channeled through the private Robert Bosch Foundation and through the Alexander von Humboldt Foundation. We are very grateful for these institutions to uh, support um, these very important initiatives here. So what is the ambition of the African Institute for Mathematical Science? So basically, the, our ambition is really, let me, let me quote Neil Turok, who is the founder of AIMS, is to be the MIT of Africa. Okay. This is our ambition. So basically, we, are, we want to foster the socio-economic transformation of the continent. When we say Africa has a lot of natural resources, that is true. But natural resources have no natural owners. Those who own the resources are the ones who have the knowledge, the skills, technology to exploit the resources and give you a small percentage. Throughout history, it's been proven that two things have shaped the world dramatically, time or events and inventions. Let's go back into time. It took one person to die for chronology to be defined, Jesus Christ. So we have AD and we have BC. But it took people like Copernicus, Galileo, Johannes Kepler to refute a widely held claim that the earth was flat. Through the invention of the telescope, they stood out as a minority and they were persecuted. As the MC said, even before Newton, uh, Johannes Kepler in the early 17th century discovered his laws of planetary motion and was able to translate how the planets move around the sun in a mathematical language that we can all understand. So mathematics is important. That is the language of the gods. conversation where we say you know we have a young African you have a young continent at the average age of what 19 something like that um, and uh, technology and science and innovation is important to us it does not reflect in how it does not reflect in the graduates that come out of the university right so if it's important to us as a nation or as a group of people it's not reflecting in how we, we churn out the numbers. Maybe and you, the educational rep, the educational reps here will have to forgive me, but maybe the universities are failing us, but then the students have to take control of their own lives. Usually the, the blame is, is given to the universities. The way forward is for integration, okay? We don't have to wait for the universities to do whatever they are capable of doing on their own and then sit at the end of the conveyor belt and expect the kind of people um, that we need to show up. <laughs>